looks great, and, and it gives me an opportunity to really tell you why, in just a couple of quick words, why you're so fabulous. Because you celebrate libraries, no matter what you're doing. And it looks like your names are up here. <laughs> no, matter what, no matter what capacity you volunteer in, you're celebrating libraries, and we appreciate that. And there's other ways that you celebrate libraries in small ways. Uh, and I know you do this when you're at the hairdresser and some of you ladies are going to be going real soon to get ready for your dinner in the stacks event. Mm -hmm. You'll be telling your hairdresser you're involved. And that's celebrating libraries. And so when you're at the grocery store and you're buying your um, ingredients to do your bread and soup presentations that you do, you're celebrating libraries. When you are um, scheduling your week out, and sometimes you have to make choices. And often you choose libraries um, to serve and your time in. That's celebrating libraries, so I thank you. And um, just on behalf of the county library, I just want to um, follow in the footsteps of our librarian to thank you most sincerely for all that you do and continue to do. And it looks like we have a wonderful program in store today, so I won't take up any more time, but thank you very much. I see one here for <laughs> I want to thank my volunteers and the wonderful people I work with here at the library for making my four and a half months here absolutely incredible. I mean that from the bottom of my heart. I just am so lucky to work with, with the, the great group of volunteers that I have. People who has been volunteering the longest, I know she's worked for years with, with one student and has literally changed somebody's life. Um, she could not be here today because she's in the process of selling her home and it's kind of a hectic time for her, but I just wanted to recognize her because she is moving out of the area, and she's, she's just really shown a level of commitment to, to helping a pers one person. So that's my, my uh, volunteer of the year. In the library with her name on it, and uh, Emerald's potluck. <laughs> be kind of fun for everybody to peruse. Okay. <laughs>
these uh, are, are a whole bunch of this, the, 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 the <laughs> slides that we're going through. Um, there's lots and lots of fun anecdotes that are connected to these. But, uh, uh, but I know we've got over 150 of them to blow through. This is Andre's restaurant, the Sea Lake Mural. This is uh, the, the, the painting that gave me my start in uh, Monte Carlo. Um, uh, I was up against major studios in the country, Evergreen Studios, New York, the Art Center in uh, San Francisco, that had uh, big stables of, of 10, 20 artists working on these big paintings. And I was all by myself. So <laughs> I knew that I'd be going up against these big guys, and so this was the big, the, the painting that I, that I, uh, you ever heard the song? I think it was, uh, 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 he polished up the handle so faithfully that now he is the leader of the Queen's Navy. <laughs> this this mural got me a five mural contract for the Luxor uh, remodel that would, that, can, that included the three big uh, murals in the registration area plus two murals in the connector bridge between the Luxor and the Excalibur. And that propelled me into the limelight. So I had all the major casinos that, that had registration areas and art, I, I generally did those. And so, um, this, but this was the painting that got me that work. Um, 